Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Septic. Uh, I did a little building off screen. I put in a floor, so to speak, and I sort of have a roof. Uh, kind of, sort of. Nothing special, just something to keep the rain off without catching fire, looking horrible. And then I uh, rerouted the water with the aqueduct. So it comes out down there into my base. I got my uh, fisher things down here, although they don't have any nets because I'm kind of low in string. And then my leather working stations over here with all these chests to feed and then the results to come out down there all uh, the water's right there it's kind of a little bit of a hassle to turn around backwards but i found it easier to have it near all these things than the other way around um and then to get up and down we have access to the ladder i don't know if you know this but if you let go of the map the up and down keys and just like look up or down you go up and down ladders really fast in this mod pack but today's goal is going to be kind of simple, but might be kind of time consuming. We're going to go for a uh, weak dowsing rod. Um, this one's the one in age one. Looks like a 48 block in a straight line. And then this field manual, if I remember right, it tells you things like uh, how those little rocks on the ground do what you find a sample anywhere within that chunk can drop in items um, you can either break them normally or right clicking the samples will give you something but then you might lose the things some things can only come from samples I think like starlight dust from the it does um, tells you like if you click on it where it's at 15 to 35 meters um, but yeah, the directions are mostly accurate. Uh, I did find a couple that were wrong previously in terms of the depth, but other than that, it was okay. Um, I got a couple of logs in case I find one so I can make a quick totem with Buffalo. Uh, if you put, I think two to three on the same thing real quickly, you'll get, uh, the haste two effect. So nothing of interest. Now you can just randomly click, but it does take durability. Now these rocks can also be core samples or indicators as well unfortunately since I'm in the sort of a grassy area it's actually kind of hard to see the rocks and if you notice my uh, point of view seems to be a little closer um, oops I'll try to zoom out a little bit I changed my t uh, resolution for my screen because of another game I'm playing was the text is too small and I couldn't adjust it in game so I'd adjust it in the screen and it's made my thing a little bit closer okay dropping down here is probably a bad idea but let's give it a shot much like caving um, for Renoris and Vanilla it's a little easier to do this of course, I don't have access to normal torches until I find coal, which is the goal of the next progression pass, find coal, Y28 to Y78. Um, unfortunately, I don't know my actual height. If you do F3 right now, you don't get that kind of information. Um, you have to build a depth finder or whatever. Um, and that lets you find your Y level, and there's something else that lets you find your X level eventually. But I didn't actually build a plumbing the death, so... Let's just go with it. Aw, oh, it's a dead end. Let's... Unfortunately, even if you do find something, it, like, it goes at 48 blocks, so it can be a very long ways until you find anything. There are a lot of rocks. These mushrooms are just dyes, as far as I can tell. But I guess I'm going to go back to the surface and not burn up in the lava. Or as I am going to burn up in the lava. I barely survived there. Or not. Wow. You know, I thought shifting... Um, 
put out the fire faster, but not from lava, I guess. But yeah, guys, I died. I've done that in an actual little while. I was actually surprised. Um, over here. Yeah. The funny thing is, though, there's another cave nearby that I wanted to try. Cause I've died there a couple times actually by not noticing it. Hello, Mr. Squid. Bye. Cave of Doom. Now this is the part that I never liked. Trying to find resources. I couldn't find copper or whatever for the life of me last time. Like I had to go super far. But um, over here is a super big ravine that I've fallen in and died a few times. Well that's not one I've fallen in but it's probably connected to the same thing. Alright guys, that cave was kind of a dud. One of the reasons I don't like caving this early in this mod pack is there's no resources, there's nothing to find, there's no dungeons or anything. But, over here I found something. I was on a horse because uh, it moves faster. It is a little harder to see, but it's faster. Um, but I found azurite samples over here. If you right click them, it'll tell you how many azurite in that area. So basically, straight down from here, there should be a bunch. You can also right click on this. And I should get an azurite sample and a, got a rock for some reason. I think you have to break it with a pick, maybe? Yeah. You get a copper cluster, is what azurite gives you. Which is in this book. It tells you. Uh, what resources are so um, right so as you're right between 19 and 51 um, requires an iron pickaxe so I can't actually get it yet and then there's like another version of copper that's at different depths so this one's pretty deep and it's a, usually a big vein and then you also have shallower ones i think it's um this one yeah easier source of copper it's at 11 to 38. it only requires a stone pickaxe so this one's too deep for me and i shouldn't be able to harvest it because i only have a stone pickaxe Unfortunately, as you can tell, there's not really a lot of visual difference between the samples. And as you get more and more samples available to you, just relying on the surface samples isn't so great. But I want to go look, continue looking for uh, coal and, and or copper. Now I'll get back to you guys. And as you can see, I'm in a forest because I find the biomes without a lot of ground cover is easy to see the rocks. But look how many rocks there are. And none of them are what I need. But yeah, guys, be right back. Hey guys, oh yeah, I got one not too far away. I better light this area up because it's getting kind of late. And I'm in a dark land, so the monster's actually going to be pretty dangerous. Don't actually have much to go, so we got coal. So we use our prospecting rod. There's some coal straight down in a big chunk. And if we right click this, we get a rock. I forgot about that. So if we just do that, we get our coal. So let's dig down here real quick. And as you can see, it wasn't too deep on this particular one. So we got, as you can see, this is painfully slow, the stone pickaxe. So what we're going to do to make this easier, let's get some this hopes nothing falls on our head and kills us and get some totem knives out All right so we got the base we don't want a spider probably should use an ocelot but not right now buffalo buffalo 
And that should give us haste two. Or does it have to be two separate totems? I can never remember. Oh, I think it's, you need a total of four. Four and one or, this needs to overlap. It's very weird, I'm not getting haste two. I've had it before. Maybe you need that many on one. So I don't have haste two on my, uh, there we go. I don't know how many you need, but I have it on my tree farm. And it's still not very fast, as you can see. Coal is actually harder to dig than stone. If I have any available, I can show you. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to mine this out for now and get right back to you guys. Well, guys, I uh, got a decent amount of it. If you're curious, yeah, this is how fast it goes on stone. So it's just, coal's really hard to mine with a stone pick. And then I got a little spider totem to get out. It's really dark. So I'm actually kind of dangerous. Now I just need to find some tin or copper, but I'm going to get back home with this for now. And I might call this an episode because I've already been wandering around for like an hour to find that coal. And I don't have a map, so I can't actually mark it very well to find it later. I think the major goal for the next episode is going to be to find a villager to buy a map for an atlas. I've actually not seen a single town, which is odd, in this playthrough. I'm surprised there's not a huge swarm of monsters, to be honest. But yeah, guys, um, it's kind of short, but... That's the dowsing rod. You just right-click stuff and it tells you how many things are in that one direction. Uh, you find the surface samples and you work with it. So the samples are not necessarily named things. They have these uh, weird names like, you know, hematite, which is actually, you know, iron. Um, but you can't find necessarily all some of that stuff until later ages. But for now, copper is my next big thing and tin. But yeah, guys, this is Just a Guy signing off. So catch you guys later. Bye.